hello traders welcome back to another episode today's video will be about order flow if you are having a hard time identifying order flow this video is for you and i promise if you watch this entire episode you'll be learning a ton of information that will probably cost you a lot of money so make sure you stay tuned for this grab your cup of coffee get your notebook and sit back and watch this entire video it's gonna be about 15 to 20 minutes tops I promise you I'm not going to waste your time. So without wasting time, let's get into it. First thing first, before we go ahead into the chart, I'm going to show you guys an illustration as usual. And then we're going to pass on to the chart and then show you guys step by step what auto flow is and how it looks like and how you can identify it on every chart, on every time frame. All right. So the question is, what is auto flow? For those who don't know, auto flow is the continuous stream of this buy and sell orders in the market affecting currency prices traders usually pay attention to order flow to understand the smart money actions gain insights into the market sentiment and make trading uh, informed trading decisions so order flow usually uh, is you can once you find your order flow you can fine-tune it and find your order blocks so some call it order block some call it order flow some call it POI POI on order, on order block can be found within the order flow. So today's video specifically is going to be it's going to be just order flow, and then it's going to be continuous videos that's going to come after this step by step. All right. So here we have an uptrend chart. We have a price creating low, higher high. Let me change the color of this. Higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high higher low and then higher high this is what we call an uptrend market direction or an uptrend order flow all right so how do you identify order flow within this uptrend okay basically what you're going to be doing is you're going to be marking your pullback before uh your pullback after every break of a structure let's say here we have a break of a structure so your last buy, like your last sell before this buy that broke the structure is what you're going to be marking. So here we have a break of a structure to the upside. Once we identify a break of a structure, we're going to go ahead and mark the opposite of this uh, move here. So the opposite of this move is going to be this down move. All right. So we're going to go ahead and mark this entire thing. What the price is going to do is usually price goes up and then it's going to go back to mitigate or to fill the rest of the orders within this order flow. So once the price breaks this structure, we mark this uh, 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 and uh, lower high, low to low, low here, this entire pullback before the break of this structure, we're gonna mark it. And then this is where price will come back to, uh, you know, for the, for the continuation, all right? And now again, we have another break of a structure right here. Once we get this break of a structure, where is our order flow? Now, again, we're going to go ahead and mark the opposite direction of this big move after the break of the structure, before the break of the structure, sorry. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, mark this entire uh, pullback. So this is going to be our order flow when the price comes back to this area. It basically mitigates and then it continues to the upside. All right. Sometimes what happens is price basically would not come back to mitigate. It's going to continue. And then let's say here you have a break of a structure, for example. Okay. So once you get this break of a structure, your job is to identify and mark your order flow. So let's say we mark this order flow price came back, mitigate, and then continue to the upside. Again, we have another order flow here after the break of a structure. Okay. Once we get this order flow after the break of this structure, all right. Break of structure, we mark the opposite of the big move here before the buy. Uh, we, mar we mark the bearish momentum here of the pullback before this buy momentum. And then we want the price to come back and mitigate it. So sometimes what happens is price is going to do something like this and then continue. And then this is going to be unmitigated order flow. So what happens is this area is going to be very important. So price might end up coming back over here, mitigate this zone and then continue to the upside. All right. So now let me show you guys how it looks like on a downtrend market. So here we have highs, lows, 
low highs, low lows, low highs, low lows, low highs, and then low lows. So this is a bearish market sentiment or a bearish order flow. All right. So let's say here we have a break of a structure again for a bearish market. We're going to go ahead and mark our break of a structure. After every break of a structure, our job is to identify the opposite of this big move uh, that broke the structure. So what is, where is the opposite of this big move? Right here. Okay. We go ahead and mark this up, this uh, pullback here, this sell, uh, this buy to sell, and then uh, wait, okay, order flow. All right. So now we have our order flow mark price came all the way down here. Price came back, mitigate this uh, price, mitigated this order flow, and then continue to the downside. So where do you find your POIs or your auto plugs? Your auto plugs and BOIs, uh, BOIs also stand for a point of interest. Your point of interest and or your auto flag or your supply zone is found within this structure here. Within this structure here before the break of this uh, lows. So from here to here is where you're going to be looking for your POI. So once you identify your auto flow price breaks through the structure, you're going to go ahead and mark your auto flow. I mean, your auto block or once you mark your auto flow, you're going to go ahead and find your uh, auto block or your supply or your point of interest. So it might be somewhere here. Sometimes it is all the way up here where the extreme uh, supply zone is or the extreme auto block is. So price might end up coming back all the way over here before it reverses and then continue to the downside. So, okay, again, here we have another break of a structure. Okay, so once we get this break of a structure, our job is to identify again the buy before this sell here. So the pullback before this continuation that broke the structure. So now we're gonna go ahead and mark this entire move here, which is our order flow. Basically, the price has to flow and has to mitigate eventually the order flow. Okay. And within the order flow is where you find your POI and your uh, order blocks or supply and demand zones. So now pr price broke the structure, came all the way down here, price went back to mitigate this order flow and then continue to the downside. So where do you find your uh, supply, or supply zone or POI or order blocks? You're going to find it between this extreme high and bet before the break of this structure here. So between here and here, is where you're going to be focusing to find your supply slash order block slash POI. All right. Again, we have another break of a structure. Once you get this break of a structure, where is our order flow? Order flow is going to be this buy before before the sale here that broke the structure. So what's going to happen is sometimes price might do this type of stuff, would not mitigate all the way. Come over here again, and then price will go up to mitigate this zone before it continues to the downside. All right? Before it continues to the downside. So as long as the price is respecting the opposite of the move, which is the pullback, and that is your order flow, you are going to be looking for a sell position. And you can use this on any time frame. All right? So now let's go to the real chart and show you guys how it looks like on the actual chart. All right. All right. <clears throat> so let's begin from here. Okay. From this uh, bullish momentum. Okay. So we're looking for a break of structures here. Okay. First of all, we have a break of a structure. Once we get this break of a structure, where is our order flow before this break of structure here? So before this break of a structure, where's your order flow? Let me just make it a little bit wider so that you guys can see it very clearly. Okay, so where is your order flow? Your order flow will be the opposite of this big giant move. So where is the opposite of this giant move? So market went up, pulled back, market went up, pulled back, and then break structure. So this internal pullback before the buy is where your order flow is. So price came back, mitigated, and then continued to the upside. Again, we have another break of structure. So once we get this break of a structure, where is your order flow? There are two things here. So where's your order flow? Your order flow will be the opposite of this move before the break of a structure. 
okay you have two chances here okay you can go ahead and mark this uh you can go ahead and mark you know up move downside and then continuation so you're going to go ahead and mark this entire pullback before the break of this structure so this is you're going to be order flow so you see what's going on over here price came all the way down here and then price ended up reversing from this area of demand zone okay price broke the structure pay attention guys price broke the structure here went up you marked your order flow now that you know that the market sentiment is buy or bullish and then you wait for the price to come back usually price comes back to all the way where the extreme order black is price took out this area of inducement and then reversed from this area here okay all right now i think you guys are following me on this all right so we also have a little bit of uh internal order flow here we have this break of little uh, this internal break of a structure before this break of a structure where's your order flow this one right here price came back retested and then continued to the upside all right again you have another break of structure right here internally before the break of this main structure so now where is your order flow is this cell uh which is the pullback before the up move uh after the break of the structure so you're gonna go ahead and mark this entire thing price went up came back to mitigate and then started reversing from this area again because if you look at it there's an imbalance going on between here and there so price came back all the way over here to mitigate the order flow and then continue so where do you find your supply and so your demand zones in this term okay your demand zones is going to be between here and here before the break of this structure i always say this okay uh sellers had in, had in control buyers came into the market they took the price to the upside creating a continuation order flow so now price came back to mitigate the order flow and then continue to the upside now again what do we have we have a break of a structure here okay we have a break of a structure what happened after that price broke the structure okay where was the opposite of this move is this one right is this one right here for this entire thing okay this entire pullback is what you're going to be marking price went up came back retested and then continues to the upside again we have another uh break of a structure right here so where's your order flow uh after the break of the structure so you're gonna go ahead and mark the sell before the buy you can see what's going on over here guys price will always come back to the area to mitigate the order flow in this case price mitigated to the order flow and there was a flipped uh supply zone that turned into demand all right so again price continued broke this main structure you can also use this mini nitty greedy internal structures like i like showed you over here you can go ahead and mark this and then you can go ahead and mark your internal uh order flow and then this break of structure again and then go ahead and mark this uh move before the upside price came back retest it and then continue to the upside again you have another break of structure so price gone up pull back and then continue to the upside so now you're gonna go ahead and mark this entire thing break of a structure and then your order flow will be this pullback area before the break of the structure let me go ahead and mark it what happened over here you can see price continuously comes back to mitigate the order flow and also there is your demand zone that's sitting somewhere here if you go to a lower time frame entry another break of a structure again now where is your order flow this is your order flow right here price came all the way down here mitigated and then continued to the upside so this is what happens all day long all day long okay here we have a break of a structure here you have a break of a structure right here okay let's say this break of a structure once we have this break of a structure where is your order flow after the break of the structure before that break of the structure so your order flow is going to be uh this entire move before the drop that broke this structure so you're going to go ahead and mark it from here and to here so what happened is price came all the way down all the way up mitigated the order flow and then continued to the upside so you can see it very much very beautiful again we have another break of a structure right here after we get the break of a structure where is your order flow so there's this up move 
before that price to the downside okay you have two choices you can mark this entire pullback or you can mark this uh nitty gritty uh area here but price did not come all the way down here but eventually it did right there okay so this is going to be unmitigated uh, order flow the price mitigated this entire thing but did not mitigate this buy before the sell that broke this structure so you're gonna have to look for the last sell the last buy before the sell here for a downtrend and then uh for an uptrend the last buy before the sell okay which is the pullback okay again we have another break of a structure right here once we get this break of a structure where is our order flow so it's going to be this entire thing price came back retested this area and then continue to the downside and then eventually price came back to retest the unmitigated order flow which is right here before the break of this structure all right and once you use an order flow once price taps on an order flow and mitigates you cannot extend this and then wait for another entry you always have to keep it one order flow at a time so one order flow one order flow one order flow and then one order flow okay eventually price ended up breaking this entire structure over here so where is the pullback before the break of this structure so we're going to go ahead and mark this area price came back mitigated faked out and then continue to the downside reversing from this area of supply zone again we have another break of a structure right here so where is your order flow before the break of this structure your order flow is this pullback right here uh sorry uh sorry guys i mean this entire thing because this uh pullback here is not valid because it did not trade above this bullish uh this bearish mark that currents over here so we're going to go ahead and mark this entire thing so our order flow is going to be this entire area and then what happened after that is price came back retested and then continued to the downside so we have one entire move okay all the way here and then this is our last order flow that we think price might end up re reversing okay so we have price creating low high internally and then downside so this area is already give me one second this area is already mitigated this area is already mitigated and then price mitigated this entire zone came back to retest it and then continue to the downside all right so in this case price is continuing to the downside this is a bearish market sentiment on the four hour time frame gbusd still bearish very beautiful bearish you can see price creating lower highs lower lows to the downside respecting the previous order flows which is exactly what you need to identify in the markets recap okay let's just recap again right clean the entire thing recap your job is to identify after the break of the structure the pullback before the drop here so this is pullback here okay again you have another break of a structure right here once you get this break of a structure your job is to identify the opposite of this move which is this pullback right here what happened price came back mitigated this area and then continue to the downside again you have another break of a structure right here and then where is your last buy before this sell here okay you're gonna go ahead and mark this pullback which is right here price came back mitigated this area and then continue to the downside again we have another break of a structure right here once we get this break of a structure where is our order flow our order flow is going to be this entire pullback right here and then we are expecting for the price probably to mitigate this area and then continue to the downside okay so this is exactly how you identify an order flow an order flow is where the market is headed and where the orders are sitting right also order blocks and pois are found within the order flow anyways guys if you like this episode please go ahead and subscribe make sure you like and share this video with your fellow friends and also if you have any suggestion or any uh, question put in the comments down below also if you want to upgrade your knowledge get the complete smart money trading ebook the link is going to be in the description and join the free telegram channel also you can find that link in the description below your brother jamal again until next time peace